Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. And kicked you and made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? What he meant by that? You don't understand? <laughs> That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. 
on the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me?
I hired you to find the girl, and you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him, deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain. No hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise for castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you.
to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Help! Help! Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Ah, oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. Ah, that was supposed to be the exit. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them.
Dump like this be. I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is our God of Mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. Remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. No. Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like you. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. Okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. What 
is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah, well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest.